Flash Flood Watch in North Central California from Wednesday afternoon through Friday morning. Actually, it's through the weekend, as you'll see when you get down to the bottom. But this is for the Camp, Car, Delta, Hearse, and the Mendocino Complex wildfire burn areas. Okay. Flash Flood Watch for the Campfire Wildfire in Butte County, the Car Delta and Hertz Wildfires in Shasta County, and the Mendocino, Mendocino Complex in Lake County Burn Areas in Northern California. Flash floods, debris, flows will be a particular threat in the wildfire burn areas. This could quickly become a dangerous situation. Flash floods, rock slides, debris flows. Wow. Okay. Flash flood watch issued. Residents in campfire area urged to watch for evacuations if storm grows. Rain amounts are forecasted to be moderate. However, the scorched hillsides in wildfire wildfire areas are susceptible to failure, causing ash and debris flows into ravines, as well as boulder and mudslides that could tumble onto roads. The initial storm is expected to hit Wednesday afternoon. It should bring moderate to heavy rain that will ease into showers that could last into the weekend and another set of storms is expected next week. Residents of fire areas to stay tuned to weather reports and be prepared to evacuate their homes. Wow, okay. Um, Mike Morales mentioned perhaps they are causing these flash flooding events in these fire areas to destroy evidence, perhaps. But don't you think it's interesting that as we were listening to all of the mainstream media reporters and the meteorologists and, and all of the government officials, they're all talking about how dry the air is and how you didn't get any rain. Uh, you got hardly, what, maybe two inches when you were supposed to get a whole lot more. But right after the fires, now you're going to get not one, but two storms, another storm next week, and they're going to go on for days. For days. Suddenly you're getting the rain. Oh, God, please, 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 please open the minds of those who have closed their minds and refused to do any critical thinking or research or even using common sense. Um, all right, what I want to say before I go on, there are still people who are intense and the elderly in particular, all of you in that area, go down to see if there are elderly people still in a tent and open your home, open your home for them. Okay. Yeah. Fire drove them out of their homes. Now they could be flooded out of their tent city. All right. We still have our sparkling frequencies going off in California. They have been nonstop. If they have stopped, it's not when I've checked this uh, radar uh, site. Now, with these extremely low frequencies, they can, from Doppler radar, 
emit high frequencies, shooting those frequencies up into the ionosphere. They come on down with the extremely low frequencies. They can cause flash flooding. Oh, God. When we have mountains of evidence that weather is being used as a weapon, weather modification has been occurring for decades and decades. We have commercial weather modification companies. Uh, they, uh, it's on the Chicago um, Stock Exchange, but I don't think it's called that. Yeah, they trade. You know, it, it's a derivatives, weather derivatives. Um, <laughs> And we still can't get through to people. But this is getting very, should I say, out of hand? It's been out of hand for a long, long time. But when you see the devastation taking place all over the world, and then when it comes closer to home, and you see a community that has been wiped out by fire, directed energy weapons used. And then they bring on the flash flooding. And you know that a lot of the survivors who no longer have a home are elderly people. That gets me really upset. So when you face these people who refuse to even look into the fact that weather is being used as a weapon, well, how, you can't, they are indirectly complicit or directly complicit with the suffering of so many people. And I, yeah, I do believe that if everybody woke up, we could get this stopped. We could, we could get rid of these psychopaths. But then when you think of all of the organizations, the NGOs, all of these environmental groups, well, everybody would have to wake up. <laughs> How is that possible? How is that possible? Especially when climate change, weather modification, these are industries that provide jobs for people. And when, yeah, it comes down to the paycheck. Sorry, morals out the window. Let's take a look at IntelliCast. Now, I just got my capture program working again today. But I was on this site last night, and I thought it very interesting that I just saw this little glob of cloud, obviously manufactured. But when I went to radar, there was nothing, nothing at all. Ah, little bits. Let's see. This is uh, the precipitation that they're claiming is going to go all the way up here. Because as you can see, there ain't no real precipitation that is threatening this area within 36 hours. Huh. So, where's the storm coming from? It's not this one in over Hawaii. Is it this little blip of precipitation on radar? Huh, that looks a little strange, doesn't it? Yeah, doesn't look like your, well, um, natural precipitation. Wow, that's a very fine line there, which Mother Nature, she does not work in very defined lines. Uh, Precipitation in a circular pattern is Mother Nature. Little blobs of precipitation being created. Oh, 
Wow, so it disappears. Huh, now this loop is, uh, this is 941, 951. We don't see anything. So at 10.02 p.m., we see a blob. 9.51, wow, it disappeared. Shows up again at 9.30, like a arrow. This is not Mother Nature. This is man creating. <sighs> Another fabulous weather event for all of you in California uh, to destroy you, to get you out of particular areas. That is um, part of the dictate of Agenda 2030, get you into mega regions. Um, and it's also to convince you of how horrific climate change is today. Well, climate change always changes. Climate changes all the time. But they changed the global warming to climate change because global warming had ceased. Ah, but they're still using global warming because the masses have been so dumbed down. It doesn't matter what they say. Look at all of the microwaves in this formation of cloud. Now I've posted videos along with a lot of other people with our, well, what's this guy, that guy, mainstream media, um, is he a physicist? Miku Kachu? I don't know. Um, on CBS they were talking about how they can make rain by shooting What was it, a billion watt or a million watt laser into cloud and make it rain? But this is not a natural cloud right here. As you can see, and I hope you can see, all of the microwaves. I'll stop it. Let's go back. One, two, three, four, five. Here we go. Did you see those microwaves right here? Okay, Mother Nature doesn't do this. Microwave. Frequencies can. Extremely low frequencies can. I hate that they're doing this. Microwaves. I really hate that they're doing this. But let's just check it out. Hmm. Well, uh, right here in this area, Los Angeles, down to San Diego, to Mexico. Well, let's just see. Oh, wow. Right in that area, do we have very intense, extremely low frequencies being emitted? right where that cloud formation is, right where they're creating precipitation. <sighs> you can check out, this is uh, NASA's worldview, and you can check out, you can go back in time and look at all of the fabulous geoengineering that is taking place all over the world. But yeah, here's your storm coming in. And this is Mexico, California. Um, and it's been kind of parked there. Wow, it hugs the coast. Yeah. artificial clouds. You can see all of the the aerosol spraying taking place. And you can see how 
This is not Mother Nature, guys. Look at all of the frequencies going through all of these clouds. And as I am doing this video, I just got that high-pitched tone in my right ear. It's, you can check it out all over the world. It's unfortunate that we have so many people that we can't get through to. Because all of this, all of the aerosol spraying is dumping toxic chemicals, heavy metals, all over the world. Yeah, they are actually transforming our world for their own purposes. Who's they? Rothschild, Rockefeller, the elite evil. And we could take them out, and I don't mean violently, but if we had healthy adults, our fellow citizens, this could be stopped. But unfortunately, they can't stop all of this right now. I mean, immediately because it would have very bad ramifications if they stopped the geoengineering because they have so disrupted all of the natural processes. You know, think of yourself, your brain. You put those psychiatric medications into that brain and then you remove them immediately, you could die. That's why they always say you have to wean yourself off them slowly because your brain the natural processes of your brain have been taken over by those psychiatric medications. You stop them abruptly, your brain is not going to just go right into triggering naturally, in a healthy way, everything's fine. No. You have disrupted your brain. Well, all of this geoengineering has disrupted the Earth's natural processes. And that should really piss everybody off. So, I just want to show you a few things. Oh, I don't know. Carbon black controls clouds. Hmm. 1958. A Navy chemist has proved that carbon black can make or break a cloud. Well, they do use black carbon dust. We see it in our sky. All of that black crap in our sky. They can create heat waves with black carbon dust. They use black carbon to modify the weather to make clouds bigger or break them apart. Any of you in Northern California, have you seen a lot of black crap being sprayed? Um, so, yeah, Florence W. Van Stratton, who, back decades ago, was working with the Navy Weather Service, she has already demonstrated that carbon black absorbing heat from the sun can change atmospheric conditions enough to create clouds or to break them up quickly. She reasoned further that carbon black would be the ideal material to induce the temperature variations because of its ability to absorb heat. The United States Air Force Center for Strategy and Technology. You want to see a real uh, fabulous video
give surprise. Wow, our Air Force. Oh my God, it's so cool, isn't it? The age of surprise. Enabling threats anywhere is, that was the heading on top on one of the, uh, hang on. while enabling new threats um, with new domains. You don't think that they can control every threat with the weapons that they have? They can. They can. Um, welcome to 2035, the age of surprise. Well, I think a lot of us are rather surprised by what we are living right now. How to make artificial rain. Art this was a uh, article, Japanese article, that I translated. So, how to make artificial rain. Artificial rain made to extinguish forest fires in several places in Asia. Wow. So they make artificial rain to put out their fires. Why don't we do the same? The act of making rain is usually done during the dry season and to put out forest fires. But not only that, to fill reservoirs, lakes, uh, for the purposes of water supply, irrigation, power generation, hydropower. Also, um, to help the process of fires, smog, anticipation of availability, such as filling reservoirs and lakes. But we don't. No. What is this? Oh, this is the... Daddy Brown, the Daddy Brown, when he was the governor of California, back in the 60s, they had a weather modification program. Well, you still have a weather modification program. Uh, you have Sacramento has its own weather modification program. Weather Modification Operations in California, October 1, 1963, September 30, 1964, Edward G. Brown. And isn't it just fabulous? Oh, did I say Edward? I meant Edmund. Sorry, Edmund. Well, you sure did spawn quite the moonbeam for controlling California. And unfortunately, a lot of Californians are pretty much moonbeam followers. Those of you who are not, I sense you're getting very angry now. List of 100 U.S. patents related to weather modification. Wow! A patent, July 16, 1891. 1891? Method of producing rainfall. August 6, 1913, Rainmaker. Yes, you had a rainmaker in California. Oh, the dates I can't recall, but it was a massive flooding event that took place. San Diego killed a lot of people, destroyed a lot of homes. And here we are today, still doing the same thing. Uh, 1920, process and apparatus for the production of intense artificial clouds. Back in 1920, oh my, but also artificial fog and mist. Process for controlling weather, 1951. 
1964, silver iodide cloud seeding generator. Generation of ice nucleating crystals. 1964, 1964, 1967, cloud seeding apparatus. Again in 1969, rainmaker. 69, method and apparatus for seeding clouds. Method of producing precipitation from the atmosphere. 69, artificial ion cloud. Control of atmospheric particles. Method of cloud seeding. All in 1970. 1971, methods of increasing the likelihood of precipitation by the artificial introduction of seawater vapor into the atmosphere, windward of an airlift region. Methods of treating atmospheric conditions. Why are you all walking around wearing gas masks in northern California when they do have methods to clean up your air? They don't want it clean because they want you to get sick. Methods of treating atmospheric conditions, treatment of atmospheric conditions by intermittent dispensing of materials therein, weather modification method, combustible compositions for generating aerosols, particularly suitable for cloud modification and weather control, and aerosolization processes, all in 1971. Again, 1971, weather modification utilization, micro-encapsulated material, 1973 device for clearing impurities from the atmosphere, cloud seeding system, weather modification process, methods of generating ice nuclei, 1974, 1975, process for local modification of fog, uh, fog and clouds for triggering their precipitation and for hindering the development of hail producing clouds. Wow, haven't we seen huge hail, hail storms all over the country, all over the world. Yeah, softball size hail. Apparatus, apparatus for generating ice nuclei, smoke particles for weather modification powder contrail generation, vortex ring generator, method and apparatus for triggering a substantial change in earth characteristics and measuring earth changes, atmosphere modification satellite, method of and means for weather modification, method and apparatus for modification of climatic conditions, method of producing cumulus clouds, 87, 1987, HARP patent, Eastland patent, method and apparatus for altering a region in the Earth's atmosphere, ionosphere, and or magnetosphere. And there's more. Nuclear-sized explosions without radiation. Hmm, so... They can set these off in the ocean and create tsunamis. They can set them off overhead and everybody's going to think that we've been hit with a nuclear bomb. They can set them off overhead and take out our grid, leaving us back 150 years. Process an apparatus for the production of intense artificial fog. And I'm sure you guys have experienced artificial fog. I certainly have. Creation of artificial ion ionization clouds above the earth. Cloud seeding, millimeter wave screening, cloud and method. Method and composition for precipitation of atmospheric water, tropical cyclone disruption, Yes, they can destroy or intensify those cyclones, those hurricanes. Weather modification by artificial satellite. I will link below to everything. You can check them out. The unrealized history of the military's utilization of weather as a weapon, the real father of weaponized weather, and the secret hurricane modification program nobody has ever heard of. Fabulous. 
article goes through the history of our military with their programs, with their projects, with... Yeah, this has been going on for a long time. Many, many decades. But now, hell, they can all do anything. And they know that the masses either are so apathetic they just don't care, they can put it in our face all the time that, yeah, Mother Nature does not work in these, in right angles, in these lines that you are seeing. This is man spraying aerosols, chemicals, heavy metals. And, yeah. It's not this, I, God, I hope, I really hope that it's not bad. Please, all of you in that area, if you could just go and check on who's in those tents. Get them all out, but the elderly in particular. No, this is, they are generating a cloud for you to make rain. It's hard to do this over and over again. Here, Department of Army National Ground Intelligence Center, 1998, English title, new chapter in rain generating and hail preventing rockets. How about this? We have the Air War College, Air University. Weather modification, the ultimate weapon. No, I'm sorry, this is the Canadian Air Force. Oh wow, a cloud made in a room. Artificial clouds, weather modification. Project Skyfire. Cloud seeding generator. 1983. And this, United States Department of Agriculture it's not just our military, Department of Energy, Department of Interior, Department of Agriculture, states as well involved, state governments using utility companies or hiring weather modification companies, weather modification companies, commercial companies like Weather Modification Incorporated and, yeah, they have a site, weathermodification.com. View all clients and projects, worldwide success. Explore the map below. Look at these projects. Argentina, Antigua, Australia, Canada, Greece, India, Indonesia. And you can read the, you know, Rainfall Enhancement Project in India, um, Mali, Mexico, Morocco, Saudi Arabia, Senegal, Spain, Thailand, Turkey, United Arab Emirates, United States. Wow, we are the country that has made weathermodification.com a very wealthy company. But how about the states that hire Weather Modification Inc., Delaware, Illinois, the Navy, and NOAA, New Mexico, Nevada, North Dakota, the Northeast, New England. We have the Poo Poo Plata, Poo Poo Plata. Northeast Sampling Program, Oklahoma, the Panhandle, which I'm not sure which Panhandle, Santa Barbara County, Sonoma, 
South Dakota, Texas. Utah. Wyoming. I will link below. It's unfortunate that we can't get through to people. No, unfortunate is a oh, understatement. Yeah, people are dying. People are losing everything. Their homes. The elderly. People who don't listen to you and just call you names. They should, they should be so ashamed of their behavior. They're not. They just think you're crazy. You're not crazy. But they really need to be put in their place. We watch destruction. We watch not just human life. We watch animals. We watch whole areas, regions around the country. We're watching people lose everything, lose loved ones, getting burned up. And then we've got the flash floods. Yeah, these people who aren't listening, really, they need to learn a lesson fast. because there's something wrong with them. They're mentally ill. They have no moral core. They're about themselves. And just continuing to live as they always have. I'm sorry, guys. At this point, these people really need to be... I honestly don't know how people can be with people like this uh, and be around them. I don't know. I don't know. All links are below.